Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Frost and Fire, episode 100. Kind of a big landmark, a big milestone. So last episode, we defended ourselves uh, pretty capably, uh, but it definitely filled up our kill box uh, full of more garbage. It was a mixed raid of uh, pod droppers they didn't do a whole lot of damage um, because they were, you know, drawn to the kill box. Uh, but what did happen was that uh, we had to reload and repair. Not too much because I was pretty careful. Uh, we've done a lot of the reloading and repairing. So at this point, what we need to do, which seems a little counterintuitive, but what we needed to do is to move this monument marker um, up towards the monument building location. Uh, so this monument here, this monument requires 650 steel. Um, and if we calculate how many stacks of steel that is, that's about a little more than eight and a half. So a nine spot of steel. I'm just going to call it steel for building because I'm lazy. A nine stack of steel uh, will do. So I will put that there so that we have steel uh, at the ready for building if pets or whomever else decides to haul. We are, of course, deep drilling uh, as fast and as much as we can so that we stockpile the steel up to the uh, roughly 15K mark that I had mentioned. And over here we have about 1600 steel and here we have, come on, let me double click. Uh, 300 steel, so that's 2,000 steel, um, totaling my steel up to about 5,000 if I hold it, which of course is not reactor territory, but it's it's getting there. The other question here that we're going to have is uh, where to put the reactor, because if you take a look here, the structural beams and other ship parts cannot go, if we look at terrain affordance, it can't go on the orange stuff. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> why <laughs> okay uh well let's uh let's respond to that a too deep infestation i would normally given the uh, ambient temperature just allow the too deep infestation to um murder themselves to death uh but the problem is the the temperature that I have here is too cold. Um, it's I mean, it's cold, but uh, I don't want them to destroy everything here. All right, so I've turned off everything but one heater. And sorry, JD. I am waking everybody up and getting them ready to shoot some bugs because catching a break is not in the cards for me. Uh, so unfortunately, a straight shot to the door, uh, this little chunk of ancient metal blocks the way. So I'm going to have to stand there, which is closer than I'd wish. Raptor Phoenix is coming, JD is coming, Bash is coming, and then uh, Hippie is on her way as well. The advantage of this little bug, I mean, I do have 270 meals stocked up, but as you can see, I'm just about out of uh, insect meat, or foul meat, I should call it. So I guess I'll be able to get more meals. I don't know. I'm trying to put a, uh, a happy spin on this. All right, store back. Come around. And the other thing I'm going to want to do is with Mr. Raptor. It is dark, so I'm in a bit of a movement speed disadvantage. So getting the bugs to fight one another, absolutely critical. Um, so that I don't get hurt. We do have some bugs in there that are uh, making a mess of things. But we will be okay, I think. 
And here comes Storbeck. You know, uh, Storbeck, grab this assault rifle. And then if we're keeping an assault rifle there, that means I need more space. So let's expand this uh, weapon storage. You guys stop hitting my heaters. All right, I'm gonna choke up, get a better line of sight. Yeah, I'm gonna lose those heaters. Uh, hippie. Let's send this mega packin'. And then the little ones I can squish. All right, so the heater and the lighter gone. Okay, everybody wanted a meal, and uh, we'll have a bunch of bugs to butcher. And all the wounds that I got will be healed in, in probably just about seconds. They're really not going to be much of an issue. I'm going to reinstall this heater closer to the dead power, uh, and then close that. Good. All right, Mr. Bash... I think I'm not even going to tempt to you with actual meds because it will be ridiculous overkill. With a healing enhancer and all that, um, yeah, it's really not that necessary. And immediately back to working. Okay, there we go. So now we have uh, pretty much everything back to normal. Unforbid the door. Bash is already healed. Storbeck's already smelting. Yep. So, as I was rudely interrupted, uh, we will get the monument marker up here with the steel. And then once Hippie decides to wake up for the day, because I woke her up in the middle of the night to fight some bugs. Uh, ooh. So that we don't use up more meds. Unless we actually have serious injuries, I'm just going to have uh, Dr. Care no meds for everybody. We've been using a lot of medicine to tend to the uh, mechanites, uh, the uh, sensory mech or whatever it is that are running in our blood, but no thanks. We'll just go the quick way. All right, I would like to use up some of these crab eggs. Uh, for meals, so in that regard, let's put uh, fine meals on for a bit so we can dip into our meat stockpiles. JD's got the other heater. And Leth and Gabe should switch weapons uh, once they are able. Okay, cool. We still have about 50, just shy of 50 slag left in the tunnels there. And as you can see, Bash is doing a great job of adding foul meat to our stockpiles where we can make more meals. Everybody, well, no, actually Gabe does not. Once Gabe wakes up, he'll switch weapons. There it is. And a Psychic Soothe male. Awesome. All right, Miss Hippie. I am going to... Oh, wow, you're going to be hauling for very far. I'm going to commandeer Hippie and have Hippie skip this monument marker uh, inside of a safe radius so that I can grab it. Because the monument marker is right on the cusp, right on the edge of where the pikemen can hit. So if I use a little skipping. Um, it makes it more safe. Oh, except for then you haul it that way. That's fine. And back to avoid. Okay, so we have the monument marker secured. It's a pretty simple monument. Doesn't require too much steel. And it looks like almost all the steel that we need is already uh, placed there. Uh, if I wanted to construct this quickly, 
I'm going to create a zone here called build. Painted over the radius of the construction project. And then um, tomorrow morning, when my builders are all rested, fed, etc., I'll have them... Um, I'll have them restricted to that zone, you know, Bash and Phoenix, and we'll get that constructed very, very fast. Okay, missing blueprints. Steel. So everything should be steel now. And I'm going to leave that forbidden. And now I'm also going to destroy this zone uh, so that nobody keeps hauling steel to here. The likelihood of uh, my builders hauling steel away. Oh, okay. I lied. Uh, let's zone restrict. Oh, bummer. Phoenix. And GD, are you going to sleep? I did this at the wrong hour, as you can see. Needs. Yeah, you're resting. Okay. Fine. You can bring those five steel over. I forbid it so that they wouldn't... Uh... Haul it away. Uh, Bash, building the steel wall. Okay, so Bash is going to be sent to the build zone now. Um, and that will get that built quickly. I just have to be careful of his hypothermia. I don't know why Bash is on a night owl schedule. And now he's asleep. The sleeping on the ground like that uh, continually, not great for the mood, as you'll end up with a uh, some mo mood modifiers that are not so friendly. Oh, and we got raptor flesh. All right, so with that raptor flesh, that um, sort of concretes the thought that I need to uh, process through my uh, my food backlog. So Raptor should start to cook. Yeah, start to cook some fine meals. And it looks like my builders here are getting this done. Yeah, JD and Phoenix are up here. I don't even really need to keep that forbidden. Okay. Looks like they're going to take a break with the work 99% there, like any typical construction crew. And it's done. Hauling away the spare steel and leaving one door open so that if a pod raider drops in here, uh, they have a valid path to leave. So monument is completed. Uh, I'll lose goodwill if it gets destroyed or damaged which is fine. I have a lot of goodwill with the Imperials. The uh, United Cities, I have a, a 90, so not much of an issue there. And now uh, Bash is running out to the Raptor Flesh in order to cook fine meals, so I am going to have him haul. Also, we have 639... Um, 639 foul meat to process as well. I'm going to clean up that area so it's not so hideous. As I'm sure we'll be deep drilling there for uh, quite a while to come. Storbeck, with a high enough mood, gets an inspiration for trade. Which is nice, except for there's not likely to be anyone to trade with in the near future. So, it's nice, but useless. <laughs> and Bash is uh, working on getting through the backlog of, uh, of meals here. Uh, 
and then once there's a little bit more space we can uh, issue an order haul order for the remaining two loads of raptor flesh i could do it a little faster by um you know caravanning it but i don't think i really need to all right so all the work left to do now is essentially um steel acquisition just acquiring the most ridiculous stockpiles of steel uh, so that we can reload to our heart's content and then turning these two areas here into uh, sort of fake um, hospital-esque structures. So for that, uh, we are going to want to probably concrete it up So that it's not a filthy ground and then i'm going to be adding in uh we have two steel beds which can install up there and i'm going to install them in two separate rooms in case for probably never going to happen but if i ever need prisoners uh put a stockpile of medicine up there and then heat it and cool it and maybe some tables for meals so that we can eat on tables if uh, if we're out that way. Okay. That monument is good. I'm also going to start filling in uh, some steel here for the sapper tunnels. And Raptors holding a concert. Schedule everybody to the throne room. Concerts are pretty cool because they can't be, they're impromptu, right? They're not like throne speeches where you can choose to one to give them. Um, and Maverick gave birth. So here's the mini Maverick. And you are going to be put to pets inside and slaughtered. Oh, and there's two of you. There's Gorilla Pup 16 too. Sorry, pups. It, uh, let me just tell you, it sucks. It absolutely sucks to be, uh, a member of our Skyfallen community. Oh, wow. You, okay, the concert's over, and... Some people want to sleep on the ground right after the concert finished. Uh, so if you take a look here, concert is concluded. Attended the concert is plus six for 10 days. Held a concert plus eight for 10 days. Um, if I was a real sadist, I would, uh, you know what? I will do it. Yeah, we're gonna go straight from a concert to a throne speech. Raptor's going to make it all about him. How much mood can Raptor give the rest of everybody? Uh, Leth, could you wake up? All right, I can delete this uh, build zone, though. I just used it. Okay, please stay awake. And social is 15, which means a 14.6 chance of good or of a bad speech. And it's inspirational. Oh, wow. So we're really going to get some mood out of this. Good vibes, man. Very good vibes. Okay, making sure that the people sleeping on the floor get moved to their beds. Uh, so now if we take a look at, you know, any of them, right? Um, inspirational speech plus eight, attended concert plus eight. Uh, that's not everyone attended the concert for the full time. So Gabe has a slightly less. So it's potentially up to a plus 16 mood, which is a, a lot, honestly. It is quite a lot.
All right, Mr. Bash, you are hauling raptor flesh, so I'm going to have you force haul. All the rest of the raptor flesh is coming in, and that means people are going to go to simple meals, which makes sense considering our mood's really never been higher. But let's see if that's actually true. So the graph here for colonist mood, it has been higher, but very infrequently. This is probably a wedding here, I'd imagine. I don't know what this mood was. Maybe the last time I had people on um, Simple Meals. Um, but yeah, our average mood is 93%. We had an average mood of 98% uh, about a year ago or something. It's hard. I, Time is weird in RimWorld where it's a 60 day year. So my brain doesn't do the math quickly. Oh boy. The hop. So many hops. And then now we're we're getting even more um Nope, we have to go back. Sorry, I lied. We have to go back to find meals. <laughs> we're getting even more um meat from Where'd you even put that meat, Bash? Oh, are you using it to train? No, you're not using it to train. Oh, you placed it up here. Yeah, we're getting even more meat from the um, the butchered grillo pups. So uh, we are going to need to use even more of the meat that we have. So the slag up here is nearly gone. There's only uh, five pieces left. And... Leth should be deep drilling. Yeah, so we're getting a healthy amount of steel there. And I'm planting cotton, for better or for worse. I wasn't really sure what to plant after this. We don't need vegetables. We have um, 1,300 or so. 1,400 vegetables. So I decided to go with something non-edible. Uh, we don't really need uh, psychoid leaves because we have so much tea stockpiled. And we have a rate of reapers. More sappers. Whoa, and they're geared. 28 and geared. Um, all right. So the thinking here is this. Animals go inside and then all of these sappers, what I'm gonna wanna do is to use these mechanoids to the best of my ability. Um, so the hope is that I'll be able to lure the sappers south, but I'm not exactly sure the direction it, to which they want to sap. We got Vreedog in the front with grenades, and then just a whole host of well-geared brawlers. Uh, very scary geared. Magenta Fairy, uh, what are some other names that I recognize? Curvin Pinpoint in the rear. All right, Leth is going to be a little late. Uh, Hippie, if I could isolate Hexner. Oh, so it was actually not Vreedog, it was Hexner in the front uh, with the grenades. I'm going to try to grab... Okay, here we go. Okay, so their Grenadier is gone. Leth goes south. And what I'd like to do, I don't know what their set point is, but, oh, don't, sh oh God, oh God. Yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're falling for it. Um, Raptor go block for Hippie. And what I'm doing here is trying to lure the mechs up. Like this. Skipping it around. Oh, come on, fight. No, 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 no. All right, uh, let's also... Uh... Oh, no, they're coming up. I think we're okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, let's go to ground now because the thing is if they had just scooted around the edge here 
without my interference, uh, the mechs never would have been in line of sight with the uh, the Reapers. There is, um, I don't think the mechs are a permanent enough installation to bother doing this, but if you were interested, you could probably build like a steel wall here uh, to force the mechs to, or to force any enemy to come south far enough that they enter the range of, um, uh, they enter the range of the mechs and then trigger hostilities. But all of these uh, very well geared Reapers are going to do uh, quite a lot of damage here. These blades here are sort of like EMP um, Zeus hammers, where they have a stunning effect. They also will stun uh, turrets as well. So it's pretty dirty. Uh, so let's stay inside. Everyone go inside. Because this aid, I think, is going to be managed without much uh, further interference. Ideally, I, w I would want the pikemen to get destroyed, but I, I don't think that's gonna happen. Hey, they took that one down. As you can see, these reapers don't care about the fire at all. They're machines, fire doesn't bother them. Uh, and they took down three, four centipedes so far. Cargo pots. Well, potatoes, like I didn't have enough. Okay. You know, crazy thought. It actually might be the case where the Reapers win. Um, so that inevitability there, or that possibility, I should say, I'm going to start to aid the mechanoids who seem to be losing. Because here's yet another centipede downed. And given that there's only six centipedes left and a whole lot of very capable snipers, uh, I might, uh, what is happening? I might, uh, interfere. If I can. So here comes JD with some interference. All right, uh, Zim is shooting me. Phoenix, go this way. Take cover. Whoa, that one's looking at me. No, no, no. Got it. Oh, get inside. All right, let's go here. Ow, 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 that's gonna hurt. Shoot at Phoenix, not at me. Ow, and Phoenix just got burned. All right, let's get to Cal. Down. Okay, and let's go back inside. I think we have now um, put our thumb on the scale enough that the mechs will win. We did get shot a little bit, but nothing fatal. And we're very cold. Oh, very odd place to eat your meals, but okay. That's a lot of flake. Holy cow. It's possible that the uh, the mechs were going to win anyway, but I don't know. Interfering seemed like the right thing to do. Oh, the other thing is um, 
yeah, these hospital beds should not be labeled as such uh, because they are for triage. So I'm going to have them as like prisoner hospital beds and I'll flick them over to non-prisoner if I need them. I didn't, you know, it doesn't make sense to have uh, Phoenix wait out there for doctor treatment because doctor treatment is not going to come out that far. Who's hypothermic? Uh, Strobic? Get back in the base, buddy. It is very frigid. Are you? Yeah, uh, yeah, you're going to be able to make it. All right, your AI is like glitching out. You don't know where to go. So, all in all, the mechs did win. I don't know without my interference if they would have, but um, this little grouping of mechs won't be able to defend against too many more. One more sizable Reaper raid and, and they'll be tapped out, which is fine. I mean, they're out there for that I express reason. What is your purpose? You're being commandeered to guard my front door. Okay, all that is hurt is JD. His shot was a little deeper, uh, but it's to a bionic leg, so no pain there. And... Why are we hauling steel to the trade stockpile? Hold on. What? Should go to the raw materials over here. There we go. And we'll continue cooking. Oh, I have enough fine meal. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I need to use one more fine meal to be able to free up a stack. JD is already healed up quite fast. And now it's it's really just about uh, hauling steel to stockpiles to get ready. Raptor now has inspired trade, so both Storbeck and Raptor. And my cotton is blighted. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm actually turning off the hydroponic benches to, in order to try to kill the blight. Um, which is a pretty cheap way of doing it. But the blight will spread before the benches are cleared. But uh, the reason for doing it this way... Yeah, let me forbid this door to force him to work in here. The reason doing it this way is often when you cut plants out, you'll reseed them. You know, you'll sow the seeds. And if you, um, if you turn off the benches here, you, you could also change your work priorities so that uh, grow is higher than plant cut, like this. Um, but you could also do it this way, where you just turn the benches off so that they don't try to re -sew, And you can cut it all out like that. And then once, uh, once it's cut... Turn the benches back on. Uh, maybe. There we go. And, uh, yeah, then we're, we're all set. We have cleared the blight pretty quickly. So those were the two, the two obvious ways to do it. Either the change of work priorities so that plant cut is higher than grow, so that they finish all the plant cuts before they start growing, or alternatively, uh, if you are hydroponics, you could just prevent sowing because you don't sow on unpowered benches. Either or. Uh, it might be took time. Well, actually, we haven't been getting a ton of uh, hypothermia. I'm going to leave these doors open because there's no chance of um, bugs spawning in them uh, during the uh, during the winter. It's too cold. I'll be keeping an eye on who gets hypothermia and then potentially uh, set them up with Tukes. The problem is if it's Storbeck, which it looks to be Storbeck, uh, he's going to be a little upset because he uh, 
He will likes his royal clothing. So over here. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need to swap. Over here, what I, I plan on doing here is, um, I changed my mind. Let's put the hospital in one side and then I'm gonna put some steel tables and probably just two stools uh, over on the other side so that if we're way out here, we can eat with a table. It won't provide that much of a benefit, but we won't have the penalty either. I had previously set Leth up to uh, queue up a um, wearing a toque, but I was a little worried about her uh, freezing to death, getting frostbite of the toes. Uh, animals, you can go back to unrestricted hauling. I forgot to do that after the uh, sapper rig was done. So there's an argument to be made where if I knock these walls out, I could haul a little bit faster. Uh, I see that. But since it's only... It's a finite amount left to haul, I'm not going to sweat it. Raptor is now getting too cold. Oops, that was what Hippie was wearing. Uh, Hippie, you wear the mast work. It's too bad that um, to satisfy the needs, the the like clothing needs of, of ranking royals, there isn't a quality modifier. That would be nice. All right, Phoenix, once you haul that, Tukes. Bash, Took, JD, Took. It's Took time. So our steel's up to almost 6,000. And everybody is now in full winter gear. Now, Gabe and, uh, Oh, yeah, they're set. Okay, I'm an idiot. They're set on stay fortified, not avoid, and that's why they weren't deep drilling. Again, I didn't change their settings, but uh, that's not terrible. I mean, we've been productively hauling steel as a stay fortified zone. And then Hippie is now uh, cleaning up. I think what I could do is let's add... This tunnel home zone that's uh, full of bug stuff. And she's tidying up so it doesn't look so uh, gross. Because we're obviously going to have a lack of jobs to do soon. Another project would be to build a bunch of spare uh, mini turrets, plasteel mini turrets, so that I can hot swap mini turrets if need be. Uh, this zone is not going to be a gather spot. I don't want people hanging out here in this uh, awful dining room. And you can tell that the uh, a lot of the jobs are now done because they're doing repairing. Repairing is sort of the uh, the lowest of the construction jobs. I didn't... Oh, this is oil. Okay, not kibble. I uh, Oil... Oil's a little weird. Uh, so the reason for oil is it's a development thing, but originally I was worried about the player taking Reapers prisoner and I wanted to make it so that the Reapers could only eat something that um, the player couldn't offer reliably, which was oil, right? Because uh, the players can't uh, make oil or anything like that. Um, and then I figured out in code how to make it so that the Reapers never, ever, ever faint 
They never, they either are alive and conscious or dead. There's nothing in between. Um, but I left the oil in. So the oil is kind of like a legacy code that I, I never stripped out. It's harmless. It looks like kibble because, you know, but it's, um, you, you really only could get it from pod drops. So it's not so intrusive. I could patch it out, but at this point, if I patched it out, um, anyone that ha had oil in their save game files would have issues with me trying to remove it on the fly. Uh, unless I went to patch it and turn it into kibble or something. And that's just more effort than it's worth. So, so the net result is yes, we have oil and it makes no sense. All right, let's get back to slag hauling. And let me see if there's anywhere powered. No, there's not like a giant pile of slag that I could, um, that I could melt down where it's powered. And I kind of learned my lesson, um, the lesson of don't bring my unstable power cells out here because any attackers will destroy them. So message received. I won't bother doing that. What I need is someone to go north and open this door here. Maybe I'll have Phoenix forced to do that. All right, Phoenix, instead of harvesting that potato, go haul that chunk. I'm only going to assume that we butchered the other gorilla. And let's put us back to simple meals now. And forbid the meat and make sure Bash is not... Yeah, Bash is training with potatoes. Good. Okay, we're up to 7,000 steel. And I think at this point what we'll do is we will set up... Ten spare mini turrets to replace ones that get damaged or, 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 well, it, broken, destroyed. And, uh, likely I'll put the mini turrets like here or something. I'll put like a few of them here, a few of them here, not installed. Although I, I suppose it doesn't really hurt to keep them installed. Yeah, maybe I will install them. Because it really wouldn't matter. All it's going to do is deter uh, sappers even more. And that way we could just move them over to broken um, turret spots. So here's what we'll do. There's ten of them. One, two, three, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. And then nine and ten. And maybe I even build more than 10. I think there's a fair likelihood that I lose a considerable amount of the, uh, the turrets here. Try not to, but hope for the best, plan for the worst. And I'm building them here because all the materials required to build them are right here. The steel, the plasteel, and then the components somewhere in the stockpile. Oh, and I guess there's two more uh, mini turrets in my stockpile. So for those mini turrets... They'll go there. 
There's also something you said for doing the same thing with uh, mines. It might be wise to stockpile mines in that way. And then these can be turned off. Because there's dead power accessible. Nearby. Wow, that did not take very long. Oh, nope, this goes here. Perfect. So we will have uh, 12 spare turrets. Our defenses are comprised of 23 mini turrets. Yeah, 23 mini turrets. So we'll have almost enough to replace half. Well, yeah, we'll have enough to replace half of all the turrets that we could possibly lose. I still feel like I might want more than that out of, a, out of a, an abundance of uh, caution and paranoia. But now that that last one is installed, that is all the time I have. I hope you enjoyed the shenanigans of using the defoliator mechanoids to destroy my enemies. And knowing full well that I'm headed towards the reactor raids, I'm excited. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I will catch you next episode. Farewell.